Hey guys, I'm Galactic from Galactic's Tutorials, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a free channel background, or channel art, for your YouTube channel. Now to make channel art's pretty easy, all you need is a program called GIMP, and uh, it's free, I've left uh, the link in the description, or you can check out the video uh, right over here. But, um, pretty much the only thing that's annoying to make channel art is uh, you need the picture to be 2560 by 1440 pixels and a lot of pictures out there aren't that size they're usually 920 by 1080 so in this video we're going to show you how to make any 920 by 1080 picture that size and how to edit different um, aspects of uh, the picture and add some cool stuff like Twitter and Facebook icons and uh, your logo so uh, we're going to get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is open up GIMP. And as you can see, sometimes you don't have the tool or Windows icon, uh, Windows, uh, tool or histogram windows. Pretty much just to get those, you're just going to go into Windows, histogram is one of them. And then Windows, ah, it's taking me a while, uh, toolbox. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to find a nice 1080p picture and we're going to open it up so let me just go find that for a sec okay guys I found a nice picture right over here as you can see this is my regular channel background and I do like this picture quite a lot but it is 1080 by 920p so what do you guys do well you go into image and then simply you click scale image and then go into width and then twipe, uh, type 25 and what was the other specifications? 2560? Alright, so 2560. And then click scale image. And it's scaling. And now it's scaled. Okay, so as you can see, it's a bit larger than we wanted. So what we're going to do is go into canvas size. Uh, as you can see right over here, image canvas size. And then we're going to go into the height and type in 1440. We're going to click the center button and then click resize. And as you can see, it makes it uh, 2560 by 1440. And it looks pretty nice. So uh, you might want to know how to add some logos or text. So what we're going to do is we're probably just going to add a text box right over here. And we'll call it uh, Galactics Tutorials. And if you want to know what you're typing, it should say it right over here in the histogram box. Uh, if you don't want to like zoom in, so you're gonna type in your uh, channel name or whatever text you want, and you're gonna highlight it. Now, because I have a stupid mouse and a keyboard, uh, I can't do this. I can't like increase the font right over here. However, you prop you could if you um, if you had a regular mouse and keyboard like I do, but I don't. So I'm going to double click the text box tool and what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the font right over here and uh, I'm going to center it well, center it which is right over here and um, you know I like to use a text editor so click on that and you can increase you can change the font and everything like that so I think I'm going to change it to Arial and I'm going to bold it actually no I'm going to use Arial heavy I think if there is a font such as that, yes. And you know, I'm just going to continue increasing the height until I like the size of it. And I think 120 uh, or 100 is a pretty decent size. Well, let's make it 125. And we're going to kind of auto crop it. Now, if you want to know how to auto crop it, simply just get out of here, go on to the uh, uh, histogram layer, uh, sorry, go on layer, and then I believe auto crop, is some, yeah, auto crop, auto crop layer. Sorry guys, the move tool is being a bit annoying on me. Uh, what you have to do is you have to click on the certain uh, text that you're trying to do. I should really click select on. Yeah, so go, click on the move tool, click on this, then double click the move tool, and it should be able to move it. Uh, I would do first item. Now I'm just going to click these two buttons. 
and it's going to put your text in the middle of your picture and you should be good. So now that the text is in the middle of the picture, obviously you might want to change the color around. So you can do one of two things. You could do the fill tool or you can actually change the text. However, I'm going to show you something cool that you could do with the fill tool. So what you do is you could um, add to alpha selection. And what you could do is instead of just um, making some sort of weird kind of like a just white and black or whatever or green or just just a plain color you can um, pretty much just choose a different type of green you want like I want this green and you want it to blend to black so I actually think I'm going to switch these colors so yeah there we go now they're switched wait switch again yeah and um, what you could do is you go and go into the gradient tool which is right over here and pretty much what I like to do is double click the gradient tool and make it foreground to background uh, instead of making it linear I like making it radial because it looks pretty cool and then you just click on the center and then drag it out to the top left or top right hand corner I'm going to do top left and then it's going to blend as you can see it looks pretty cool so I'm going to undo that and I kind of want to give it uh, some kind of background shadow just to make it look a bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into filters. I uh, believe it's light and shadow and drop shadow. Uh, click, set this to zero, zero, hundred. Blur radius 15. Click OK. As you can see, let me undo this. It made a kind of cool little shadow effect but uh, we want some more shadows so we're going to continue to duplicate this by right clicking and clicking the duplicate layer as you can see it's getting more and more defined as we do this and we're just going to continue to do this until we like the way this picture looks so let's just continue to do it right now and you know I kind of like the way this looks it looks pretty nice pretty smooth and um, I'm pretty satisfied with this so once that's done, uh, we can add in some icons. Now uh, to do this, just click open as layer and uh, download some icons off the internet. I already downloaded some. I downloaded a Twitter icon and a Facebook icon. So we're going to put in the Twitter icon first. And uh, as you can see, it's a fairly normal size considered as a picture. So I'm not going to have to scale it down or anything. And uh, what we want to do is take the Twitter icon and take the layer and drag it behind the Galactic Tutorials because I don't want it in my way of my picture. And we're just going to uh, take the Rotate tool, which is right over here, and we're going to rotate it to make it look kind of cool. Click Rotate. And, you know, I kind of like the way that looks, so we're going to keep it like that. And then what we're going to do is kind of click File, Open, and we're going to look for the Facebook icon if you've downloaded one you could use Instagram Twitter whatever again this is you don't have to make anything like this this is just um, a, pretty much just a template for you guys to work off of if you want but um yeah it's pretty much just a like you, do, you don't have to follow it. Um, but um yeah you do not have to follow this at all it's just a template for you guys to work off of and get ideas from and I can't seem to be, oh, uh, sorry, I, I'm doing open. I, you have to do open as layer. Forgot about that. There's probably about like 50 Facebook icons right over, open up over here. So there we go. Ah, back into GIMP. All right, so we open up the Facebook icon. And pretty much we're just going to rotate it. We'll rotate it. And we'll rotate it this way. And we'll put it right over here. And, um, you know, it looks pretty nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to click save. And you can save it as whatever you want. And I'm going to save it to a specific place, GIMP stuff. Pretty um, generic, I guess. And uh, what you also can do is click file, export. export. Export this as a JPEG for the highest quality and smallest amount of data used and then 100 and then click export I would export it to a place where you actually know where you're exporting it to 
um, I'm exporting it to my GIMP folder, so that's why. But um, once you're done, click Select Photo from your computer. Then go into uh, wherever you saved it. I saved it to my GIMP stuff, as I said before. And um, I believe it's supposed to be... Ah, yeah, here, here we are. And uh, click Open. It's going to take some loading because it is a gigantic file. And it uh, looks like this. So you can see it looks really nice. Um, I like the way it looks. So what we're going to do is we're going to click select. And it's going to change from this to this. And, um, you know, I do think it looks a little bit better. And I do like it. It's a lot less blurry than it was before. Although it is, although the background might be a bit more blurry. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much how you make your own channel art. And um, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.